Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to an episode of Donation Off Road. So, today we have a fun one for you. We are going to be introducing you to our brand new rig. It is sitting right over here. Now, it's not that new. You probably see it in the title. But it is a new rig that we're adding to the Dirt Nation family. And this is our very first designated tow pig. Meet. I don't have a name for it yet. Maybe we can comment below. We can talk about the name. But as you guys know, for the past year or two, I've been using the Tacoma quite a bit to, you know, tow our other projects out to, you know, different trails. You know, when we went to the Rubicon, I used you know, the Tacoma to tow winchers and I've towed Broodsbury out to Utah and Parker and all these other places. Cool, but not ideal, right? The Tacoma can tow, it's a mid-sized truck. It's not really meant for it. It can do it. It's not happy doing it. Either way, there was a point where I decided I need to get a designated tow pig. Now, if you guys don't know, full-size trucks are actually pretty darn expensive, especially right now. You know, trucks went from being like this, this work thing that, you know, you just kind of buy one and use it and everything, farm trucks and all this other stuff, and they become a luxury item over the past 10, 15 years to where now regular people that want to buy a truck and not turn it into a fucking status symbol have a hard time buying trucks. But because trucks are so expensive, what we're gonna be working on doing is a video series on making this into the ultimate budget built tow pig. Now this is the truck as is when I first bought it. I'm already planning some upgrades and we're gonna do some of those in this video in preparation for King of the Hammers, as well as a uh, overland slash rock crawling trip out to Arizona that we have planned in the future. So we're gonna start getting this ready. We're gonna introduce you to the truck. We'll show you some of the things that it has, why I picked it up, and then we'll do some upgrades. We'll do some other things. And then from there, as we continue to upgrade this, you know, we'll give feedback. I got some other plans on things that we can do. You know, fun fact, when you uh, pick up a new project, the first thing you think about is how you can start chopping it up. I've already started thinking about how I wanna chop this up. But in the future, in the future, don't worry about that. Nonetheless, let's talk about our new Ford F-250. So. 2002 Ford F-250, this is a V8 gasser. This is like the most bare bones model that you can get. And that's pretty much about it. <laughs> um, it is a two wheel drive, but we might work on some other things with that. But uh, you know, it's an eight lug, it's a V8, it moves. I'll tell you what, it's F-250 Super Duty, eight foot bed. As you can see, the body isn't in like the worst condition. You know, it's been knocked around a little bit. It's a truck. That's pretty much what it's for. Bed has, has seen better days. We might do some things with the bed. I might, um, you know, clean it up a little bit. Maybe rhino line the bed, do something like that. You know, it's got a working tailgate. Freaking tail lights work. It's ready to tow. And over here, I mean, there's not really much going on. You know, it's got <laughs> four of the same wheels. That's, that's a plus. We're good there. Um, really cool right here. It does have tow mirrors. So these mirrors will actually extend bam so that if we have a wide trailer and we need to have some good visibility we can have that it's a nice little truck it's a good starter project you know like i said it's it's designated for towing so it's gonna be a lot better than the tacoma so nothing too bad about that plus being a two-wheel drive i expect to get stuck so luckily it has some recovery points for uh, my fellow friends to pull me out when we uh get stuck towing out to god knows where as for the interior um bench seat now this is kind of covered up because the bench seat is seen better days you know these are work trucks this one has a lot of miles on it so obviously it's been sat in and everything so probably going to try and look for another seat at the junkyard something that's a, a little bit better now what's cool is um i fit pretty well in here considering it's a regular cab you know i'm six foot three over 300 pounds and i fit just fine in here so you can see i have plenty of leg room it's all good to go you know we can fit three passengers which we have done already and you guys can see I have all my junk here. Dash is very basic, radio is basic. We're gonna be working on that. That is probably one of the things we'll do in this video is uh, getting that radio replaced. And then, eh, you know, it's gonna need some new lights. It's got lights, but they're, uh, you know, stock halogen crap. Headliner has seen better days, but I got the, uh, I got the, <laughs> I got the radio keeping it from hit me in the head. Anyways, let's go ahead and fire up. Let's see how she sounds. Get my keys out. Delicious. So only one light on the dash. It does have a check engine light. I haven't checked it what it is yet. And then you guys can see nearly 240,000 miles on this. So should last a long time. We will see. Sounds good. Radio. 
It's bare bones, but there you go. Revved up like a douche. Windows, roll down windows. Look at all that tint though. It's got some good tint for those hot days, but that's the interior, bare bones, but I fit inside of it. It'll be good for long trips, nice and comfy. And because it's a bench seat, might be able to get a little sleeping in there. Alrighty then. So there's our motor. So this is the, the 5.4 V8. Now, as far as I know, this is like the two stroke, which is a very reliable motor. Uh, this one recently has been serviced. It's got new oil packs, a couple other things, but hey, this should be good. Should be a good motor. I've been driving it at work the past couple days. It's been running solid. That's okay with me. So that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, like I said, it's a uh, bare bones freaking Ford work truck. And that is all I need right now. We're gonna make some strategic upgrades in order to get it set up for towing as well as long trips. So expect to see a few things done. We'll do some in this video. And then, you know, if you guys are interested in this build and, and what I'm doing with it, as I continue to do more things to the truck, some exciting, some may not be as exciting. We'll continue to do videos and do all that stuff on it. For now, we're gonna jump to whatever else I do in this video in terms of upgrading. Like I said, we're getting this ready for King of the Hammers, which will be, starts this weekend and then we're gonna have our big trip in the next uh in two weeks so got to get this ready for that and then we'll kind of wrap it up from there so we'll get started with some upgrades and go from there Let's when we it. last left off with the ford we were trying to put a radio in the truck and i ended up running into some issues because i didn't realize that in order to put like a double din style radio into a ford truck you have to trim the dash um inside here so uh it actually doesn't fit where the stock radio would fit. So you'd have to do some trimming. I wasn't willing to do that. So what I ended up doing was I put that radio inside Brewsbury. So Brewsbury got a new radio, all good to go. Um, we did use the truck yesterday to tow. We towed out to King of the Hammers. I did a flat tow just to test to make sure that it could flat tow Brewsbury. Did it just fine. Next weekend, we're gonna be towing with the trailer to you know make sure this is a solid tow rig. Um, in terms of upgrades, I really haven't done anything yet. I plan to get a brake controller. I already have one ordered. And then I ordered a wiring harness specifically for Ford, the, the F-Series Fords. And then I did get a toolbox. So I ended up picking up this one used. It's aluminum. And you know, it was at a decent price. You know, I had to use the J-bolts, plus I made my own bolt holes to, to fit that in there. But it's in there solid, just to keep a couple things, nothing too crazy. And then what I'm working on right now is, uh, our RTT that's on the Tacoma is going to be coming off and I plan on putting it on this truck so that when we tow out to somewhere, you know, we can still have somewhere to sleep and be good to go. So what I'll be doing because this is going to be more of a budget build is I have two two by fours and a two by six that I've already trimmed and cutted and cut did it did. And we're going to put them lay them across the bed in order to uh, bolt the RTT on there. And then uh, hopefully that holds up just fine. If that works for now, I know the wood isn't like the best option. You know, you should have a proper rack system on there. We'll get that figured out later. Right now, I need function and I need it to be on a budget because right, we've already bought a truck, we bought a toolbox, we buying all this other crap. You know, we, we wanna keep the budget low. So okay. what I'm gonna do first is uh, these four trucks come with, uh, they have these rectangular like inserts. What I'm gonna do is first put the support one in and then measure from there. Uh, because these are holes. I want to use existing holes on the bed So I'm not like constantly drilling into it and, and creating new holes because I don't know if this is gonna be a permanent setup so um, My two two by fours are gonna be ye apart That's what the RTT is gonna bolt to and then this is gonna just be a support one Which is why I did a two by six. It's a, it's a little bit bigger What I have to do is just measure to see where I'm gonna drill through and then from there I just have to get this in there and thread it in there and theoretically that'll sit right there okay oh I think I did it FYI I have zero fabrication or crafting skills so I don't know if this is gonna work but 
We're getting somewhere. Uh-oh. Okay. Did I do it? I did it. Okay. I cannot believe this is working. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this as much as I can. Because these, what they do is just they catch on the inside of the bed and then they just tighten. Wow, it's working. There it is. So got one mounted in. This one you guys already saw. So I'm just going to measure. Distance is the same. Make sure they're even. And then this one on there. And then rack. Oh, now it's got to come back up. <laughs> this is what we're looking at uh, million dollar question is it gonna hold so I'm gonna get on the top of this thing and we're gonna see let's learn some things you guys tell me is that gonna hold all right we made it king of the hammers 2023 so let's talk about the tow pig bruiseberry made it we towed it with the trailer everything was good to go honest feedback on the v8 it's slow but it will pull if you push on it it'll go it did just fine now the upgrades that we did we still have to test the tent <laughs> we'll be doing that tonight in the next couple days i'll get let you guys know about that but uh tent is is here you know hey it's all good so far i have it braced with uh spare tires so we do have some support going on so that's going to open up we'll show you all that later but that's all good toolbox did just fine locks up we got all our shit inside here you know fun stuff look we got a little gladiator in there rc content coming soon you know how it is let's talk about inside now an absolute game changer for this towing setup was the brake controller. Now, I I don't know which vehicles come with brake controller wire, you know, wiring harnesses, but what I did was I picked up a generic one and then I got the wiring harness specifically for the F250 in order and then inside the dash I had the plug exact one that you need so that you know you can get what you need. So, um, here's a brake controller right here. So, when you apply the brakes, it will also apply brakes on the trailer. So, you can see right here I already set it, you know, and if you play with this dongle right here, that's applying the brakes right there. So it's a 4.8. I think it goes from 0 to 11, something like that. Pretty much figure out the setting that you want to use. I wasn't that loaded up, so I did about half brakes. But when you apply the brakes regular, it'll stop the truck as well as stop the trailer. So this was a big game changer. Coming from somebody that, that flat tows and usually uses like a U-Haul trailer, and I used to tow with a Tacoma that's a mid-size as opposed to a full-size truck, like this changed everything it was a comfortable smooth ride definitely not mad at that all right um it looks good that it looks good so far i'm not i'm impressed but 310 ish pounds needs to get in there and uh survive so we're gonna we're gonna see yeah but isn't it isn't it supported by the to a degree but not really okay all right let me know how it looks Oh, good. No way. So far, so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I even... And then, you know, you're like, this is like overland rock crawling because I get out onto a trailer. That's perfect. No. And you got your box to step on? Your crawler hauler. Thank you, sir. All, the oil that's All right. I'd say that's a te it. the pass test. What do you think, Christy? It's made for short people. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I'm not mad. This works. Fucking. We're going to sleep in it tonight and then we'll see. 2,000 years later. All right, here we are. One month of owning the new tow pig. And I want to give you guys some feedback before we wrap up this video. Talk about some of my experiences with it. Some of the things that we've had to do. And uh, kind of just, you know, go from there. Here she is as is. We have now used this truck two times to tow to King of the Hammers. And we also took a recent trip out to Arizona. So three trips of towing. Two with a flat tow, one with a trailer, and I gotta say, this truck has been towing wonderfully. Like, holy crap, 
huge difference, you know, coming from somebody that tows with a mid-sized Tacoma that's not even built for towing to this, holy crap, huge difference. V8 pulls trailers just fine. When I flat tow, it feels like the vehicle's not even behind me to where I could just drive mostly normal, just gotta be a little aware that I have another vehicle back there, but you know, the weight of the vehicle doesn't really affect it. You know, if I stop, it's all good. You know, freaking four disc brakes all around. She stops just fine, stops the other vehicle. I don't really worry about that stuff. And then trailer brakes, holy crap. I, it sucks. I had the towing package on the Tacoma. I didn't know all this time I could have just got a trailer, uh, a trailer brake module or controller, whatever the hell it's called, and get a wiring harness, plug it into the Tacoma, and it would have made so much of a difference towing with the trailer. This thing does great. Pulls the trailer just fine, and then with the brakes of this, as well as the trailer brakes with the controller, huge difference. Game changer to where towing is comfortable, it's fine, no big deal, it's all good, and uh, I'm really happy with it. To where now, I'm gonna be looking for a trailer to pick up for myself, something small, something you know simple, to where I could just throw a crawler on there and we're good to go. Now as for the upgrades we've made, toolbox was huge for me. Uh, being able to store stuff, you know, because we only have a single cab, so you can't really fit much in there. So, you know, being able to just throw like the random things in there, backpacks, blankets, you know, all the extra stuff you'd normally have in the cab, being able to throw it in here to where it's gonna be out of the elements, you know, not really gonna get much dust or water or anything, you know, being out of the rain, it's all good. Glad we got this. Now for over here, this was a temporary solution and it worked just fine. So our three pieces of wood did hold up. It was fine. I slept in there comfortably. It, you know, is comparable to the Tacoma. In fact, it didn't rock as much as the Tacoma would because the Tacoma, you know, not having sway bars and all that, it kind of would just sway back and forth in the wind. This thing did great. We had some windy nights and I slept in there very comfortably. Inside is mostly the same. Now I did go and get some AC work done. Um, the AC compressor had some wiring issues as well as like, I don't know, just like I had to clean the system out and do all that. So I ended up, you know, taking it to somewhere. Um, they did a full service on the AC. It cost me about five, 600 bucks. And you know, yeah, it's a lot of money, but now I have a fully working AC to where this thing blows cold, blows good and I don't have to worry about that. So it's ready for summer wheeling, summer towing. In all, I'll say I am very happy with this purchase because I picked this up relatively cheap. Everything you see right here, I did all of this AC work, you know, the toolboxes and the plywood and you know, all of that stuff, brake controller, under $5,000, actually under $4,000. I was able to get all of this taken care of and the truck itself. So not bad for a tow pig setup because this thing works just fine. Is it perfect? No. I'll tell you right now, being that it's the smaller V8 engine, you know, usually the, the 5.4 is what comes in the F-150s. Yeah, it's slow. It gets bad gas mileage, but guess what? It pulls. It's seemingly reliable because this thing has over 240,000 miles, as well as I've put another probably thousand miles on it since I've gotten it. I gotta say, this thing's solid, super happy with it, looking forward to building this in the future. Now, speaking of the future, what we got planned for this is, now this is a two wheel drive, which sucks, but you know, part of you know getting something on a budget means you're gonna have to make some sacrifices, right? If I were to pick up a four x four, I would have been spending well over 10 grand to get something comparable to this, but four x four. But I have a solution. There is a ton of good donor vehicles out there. Ones that blow engines, transmissions, whatever it may be, to where we're gonna be able to do a four x four swap on this. And I think we could do it relatively cheap. I have a couple donor vehicles that I'm looking at so that we could do a solid axle swap and then do a four x four swap. So it'll be leaf sprung and it'll be pretty much like buying a F-250 four x four of this model. Look forward to that in the future. I maybe get that done before summertime. If not, we'll have to do it after summer. Definitely not doing it during summer, but I definitely do want to get this thing four x four swapped because when I'm towing out to, you know, more remote places, you know, Johnson Valley wasn't that bad, but once you start going to some places where you might get some soft sand or get something slippery, this thing's gonna get stuck and I definitely don't want that. So. Um, being able to have 4x4 to support this vehicle is going to be great. Plus, we'll be able to start taking on some full-size runs. Full-size invasion, who knows? We'll have to see. But look forward, we're going to do a 4x4 swap on that. That is the goal. But this truck, as is, super happy with it. Could highly recommend a Ford F-250 
just get yourself a simple work truck and it'll tow all your shit around. But I think that's gonna wrap us up here for our tow pig build. It's on a budget, it works, super happy with it. Look forward to more upgrades in the future. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Patreon. You also have shirt tats, hoodies, and all those other goodies at our online store, DirtNationOffRoadBigCartel.com. Until next time, thank you guys. Let's get it. <laughs>